What's up, guys? Got a couple more videos to come. This video, I'm going to discuss my latest pickups. Uh, video after this, I'm going to do the top 10, top 20. I haven't made a uh, exact count yet of what that's going to be, but my top shoe list of 2012. And an addendum to that will be my top eBay, Craigslist, deal finds of 2012. So sit tight for those videos. They will be coming soon. I'll probably wait till I get one pair that I'm waiting on to get here till I do the top eBay deal finds of the year. Um, first, I want to shout out Sh uh, Sock Swagger. I told you guys in the uh, last video that I was going to let you know how their customer support was. Um, they sent me all these keychains and I was lacking several of them. Uh, hit them up, I think on Instagram. Um, they got it sorted out. So immediately got these on deck. I did a uh, off the string giveaway that if someone answered some uh, history drop on a small picture on Instagram for um, the three people that did participate, I just let them all be winners. I think I'm going to do that more randomly and it's just going to be through Instagram where I will post a slight picture of a shoe or a sports team and if you guys get the question I asked right, I'll send you out something small. Don't expect anything big, but keychains, cleaning kits, shoelaces, gift cards, things like that. So be on the lookout for that in D317 on Instagram. So, pickups for, well, what, since I did my last video on the Barclays. Alright, so since the Barclays were a eBay find, I found these Flint 7s through Polo Like Ralph on Twitter. Add a one behind that on Instagram. Found these Flint 7s from 2006. He sold them for $60 shipped. They are pre-worn, but not too bad for $60. So, knowing that I'm getting a lot more used shoes with suede materials, I hit up Foot Locker. For this week only, they are doing a special promotion on their sneaker cleaning kits. Buy any two products for 10 De Niro. This is what I got from them today. I got the suede cleaning brush with a magic eraser. It's got the soft brush and magic eraser. Do this, hit it with some Jason Mark, clean it up, wipe it off. This kit will be used on the Flint 7s. A cleaning video is coming, guys. It is coming. I also picked up some more sneaker cleaner and some suede protector. And the Jason Mark is what I'm going to be using with the brush. I do not recommend using the supplies that Foot Locker stocks on New Buck suede deer carcass kangaroo fur shoes. Back in the sneak cleaning box. And now let's go through the pickups. In case you guys didn't see my last video showing the MacGyver on the GMP bag, uh, homie Jake shipped me out his bag. I went ahead and got this thing done for him. If you guys want me to send the bag to me or mail you out the kit, I'm more than happy to do so. If you haven't watched that video, it's a couple videos back, and then this is the hardware. <laughs> so Jake, this will be on its way to you shortly, sir. Let's get into pickups. I like knives. Chicago Nine, shout out to System Psycho. Olive Knives, shout out to Alex Jordan. And today, shout out to We Are the Trend for telling me to pass. So I went ahead and picked up a pair for myself. Had several gift cards. I went ahead and grabbed the Cool Gray Nines. Tons of people have already had videos up on the Cool Gray Nines. I'm not going to waste any more time with it, but it is a very nice shoe. I like the leather tongue. It's the only model of the nine that has that, and it really reminds me of the Cool Gray 11 as far as the suede new buck deer carcass feeling material. So if you guys got these or missed and are on the fence on getting them, 
quality is on point. Very nice shoe. Hope everyone who was after it was able to get them. So enough of the Jordans. Let's move on to the next two pickups and we'll call the video good. Add this joint for a minute. This is my first New Balance pickup Vietnam joint. I do have a video on this. If you guys want to watch it, it's um, pickup 17, I believe. Whichever one had the uh, LeBron 10 gold medals, you will see this shoe. So, Crispy Coil, everybody's telling me that the Vietnam joints do not give the New Balance label that much justice. So, my homie, Jake5149 got the New Balance Harvard Yale Pack. It was a collaboration done by Concepts. So a little keychain there. And they made exact numbers for each college win total. I believe it's 65 wins for Yale and 55 for Harvard. JKE5149 got the pack. He sent me out the red joints. If you want to see the Yale shoe review, head over to his channel. I will link down below. Now, I gotta say, there are quite a bunch of differences on these two models. First, tongue difference. Vietnam, very narrow, less padding. Less padding on the tongue on the Vietnam, thinner, less padding on the heel cup. Nothing too crazy other than that. The toe box on the US is a little bit longer. If you guys have some huge big foot feet, I really recommend New Balance as the New Balance on foot has a very nice contour and silhouette that will probably make you guys with monster feet not look like you're walking in boats. So to review the Harvard pack, you could simply create this off of New Balance ID. No problem at all. The only difference is this comes with gold fashion laces from Mr. Lacey. It also comes with red laces as well and a Concepts keychain. Canvas on the toe box. Going up to the tongue. And on both vamp panels on medial and lateral sides. The rest is red suede. And this is suede. You can see that color change. Mm, mm, mm. Light and dark. Oh man. Black suede all in the heel cup, the wrap, and the upper wing area, as well as a suede backed by a leather New Balance logo. Very hot shoe. I've already worn it four times. And I'm not talking about around my house. I'm talking outdoors, out to dinner, to work, and it shows no sign of wear. Love me some new balances. Jake, I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity of getting the Harvard pack from you. Um, love it. Love it to death. On to the last shoe. Another shout out to Alex Jordan. We got Grant Olson's Nike Free Run Plus 2 Doran Becker. I'm not going to go over this in detail, focus, focus. If you guys want to see great video detail review, please head over to my homie Eagles and Heat. I believe his channel name is DMV Sneakers. I will also put his link below, as well as Alex Jordan's channel. Alex Jordan's been doing lookouts like it's his job. <laughs> so props to you, homie. Good stuff. Um, but yeah, go to Jake's or DMV's channel and you will see very high quality detailed review. Shout out to Ross the Knot for the custom galaxy. One of one laces. But Grant Olson, you killed it. This is my first free run and it is by far the most comfortable shoe I have ever had on my foot. I'm not hyping it up because I have the shoe. I'm not hyping it up because it's a Dornbecker. That is just my honest opinion on this brand. This could be any colorway. It's going to fit the same. They are very comfortable shoes. So I'm going to cut this one short and I'm going to go on to the next video. My top releases, in my opinion, of 2012. Peace.